So I just want to share this. You know, the interesting thing was our freedoms were taken away from us during this virus, right? We couldn't come to church. And so many of us prior to this, we'd come to church when we felt like it, when we got around to it. Oh man, let's go on the lake, it's nice, whatever. But we had our freedoms of coming to church and gathering together to worship our God taken away from us. So it is so important that we keep our freedom yes. in Christ and keep our freedom in this world. And so I just hope that each one of you take that to heart that, you, you know, stay home if you want to come. But, you know, that we've, we've lost our freedoms here for a period of time. And it just has meant so much more to us to minister and to see you and be a family together again. Amen. That we don't take this freedom lightly. That we are so thankful that God has given us freedom in the Spirit. He's, we're born again. We have freedom. But we also have freedom in our nation. And we have freedom to come to church and gather together and worship His name. Don't take that lightly. And I just, you know, so many of us prior to that took it for granted. We were complacent. We'd come to church when we want to. We'd come to church if we felt like it and all of that. And I just think it's really important that we keep it in front of our eyes of what God has done and showed us how important it is, the body of Christ, how important we are to each other, how important we are to each other. And we just love you all. And I just hope that from now on, we've kind of learned our lesson Amen. that since our freedom was taken away, but now we've got it back and let's continue to gather together and be one in Christ and be the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.